Okay, hi, I'm Eitaro Hirota. I'm with NSD Architects. Um, we're the architects for uh, the village Langley. Uh, this is the village. Welcome. So we're in the main plaza uh, right here. Um, from the main plaza, there'll be a large boulevard that runs straight across. So that's kind of the spine of the village. And from the main boulevard, on either side, there'll be gardens. There'll be a village clock um, along here. Where you see the, uh, the hydrant right now, um, there'll be a, a water feature. We'd like to use the, the cottages themselves as, as guides to get back to your household. So each household will have a distinct color. This one here is, the wayfinding color is blue. Other uh, parts of the building are more of a neutral tone. What we try to do with um, the households is that we try to break them down into smaller cottages so that it doesn't look like a big building. So when you're walking down the main boulevard, it looks like a, resi a regular residential street. It fits in very well with the scale of the neighborhood as well. And I think that speaks to how much this will feel more like home. My name is Scott Thorburn. I'm the development manager for Camber Developments, which is a company developing the village in Langley, where we are today. The village concept that, that we're trying to do here is unique and, and new to Canada. And this is a style of housing that works for our residents, works for staff, works for us. We think it's probably going to be the way the world moves, but for us to be the first is pretty exciting. Okay, so now we're inside the household. Um, so the way we've designed the, uh, the household is that we've clustered um, the resident rooms to create this large open space. On either end of, uh, of the common area, there are large windows that face outdoors. Yeah, so uh, once you enter, um, there'll be a lounge with a fireplace. And then um, in the back here where you see the framing is the activity room. Right now we're standing in the dining room. Um, the kitchen is there and the lounge is right there. Um, as you can see, instead of creating walls that define the spaces, we've tried to keep the floor plan as open as possible. So um, it creates some flexibility in how you want to use the space. One thing that's unique about this project is that um, uh, the residents will take part in the daily meal prep. And so we've created a, a island kitchen um, connected to the dining space. Uh, we're standing in one of uh, the resident rooms. Uh, this is a single occupancy room. Uh, the bed will be here. Um, if you notice, um, when you're in the bed, you have a direct line of sight into the washroom. We try to keep the windows uh, low enough so that when you're in your bed, you can still look out. So in each duplex, there'll be a household with 12 rooms one double occupant uh, room. The number of people you're living with is very small in comparison to a typical care complex. You know, you can imagine, you can sit around one table and have a meal. So it feels a lot more like, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're in an extended family situation. Persons with Alzheimer's, they tend to get agitated when they hit a dead end. So uh, if you notice, um, uh, when you walk through the households, there are no dead ends. Okay, so this is the, the sunroom, TV room, slash guest room. Um, it's actually a room um, that we're hoping the residents and the people in the households um, themselves will define the use. My dad uh, was a developer in the late 70s, 80s in Vancouver, and then I sort of came to the business in the early 2000s. We were trying to um, look for new opportunities and new things to do and sort of evolve towards this style of housing and this was some, a way that we wanted to move and grow forwards. We're still, um, as a society, still trying to figure out what, what is the best way to care for our elders. Um, and um, from the household model, um, I think this village project uh, takes a big leap in terms of bringing the, uh, the care environment closer to a familiar residential environment. This whole thing actually stems to my childhood. I didn't grow up with my grandparents, but I visited them every summer. And when I was growing up, they still had three generations living in a household. We had a small hotel, but there are three generations running that business. As a child, I could see what it was like to grow old. Um, I think we're starting to miss that a bit. I'm hoping that we learn um, some lessons from this project that can be transferred to uh, the city or our built environment at large so that it makes it easier for, you know, for example, with people with Alzheimer's 
um, to find their way home. Like if you or I were in this situation, we wouldn't want somebody following us around all the time. We wouldn't want somebody telling us where we can and we can't go. We want to be able to do what we want, no matter where we are in our life. Everybody wants that. That's just basic human respect. So that's what I like most about this. When all is said and done, you know, people are going to be able to come, live here, be respected, and live the best life that they choose to live, however they choose to live it. Subscribe and stay tuned for part two of Designing a Village. We'll take a tour with the architect and development manager in the Oakwood Community Centre and learn how we're designing a community. Coming February 2019.